All right. Good morning. Good afternoon, everyone. Uh, today I'm going to be interviewing. Uh, this is a TK. TCAT. 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 Uh, creator of the map Thieves Island and also creator of the Skies of Nazca, if I'm correct. Yep. And we're going to be flying around on the map Thieves Island. Thieves Island, and you know he's going to be showing me around. Let's see, I have never played this map before. Uh, this is my first time on this map, so. You wanna? You want to, Where? Where should we go first, uh, DK? Well, um, we can shoot across the island to that little coliseum area over there. Follow my lead on that. So the 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 island piece that's above us, right there. There's a current issue with that. We don't want to fly directly under it. Okay. Um, everybody wanted that's using the map right now. Wanted all the floating islands to be buildable on. I have to switch it over, um, and I have been doing that, buildable. But for some reason, uh, certain parts of the island, when you make them buildable and you fly under them, die. But we don't want to fly directly under that, so we're going to fly around it. I see. So, how yeah. big in comparison is the map to the island? Like, how how big is this map currently? I believe that this is about half the size of the original island. Oh, I see. So it's a much, much smaller. And uh, do you have any? From seeing here, oh, you have a couple of ruins. Do you have any custom assets? Uh, yeah, there's a few. I, I, there's there's more on Skies of Nazca than there is on wow. Thieves Island. Um, because Thieves was my first map. I wanted to figure everything out. I wanted to figure how it all worked, uh, and I didn't want to do anything that might break it. But as you can imagine, I have been doing. <laughs> I try to add my own little bit of flair to the map, you know, to make it unique and different. Um, so this island, this part right here, this is Palisades. Uh, and the Palisades was originally going to be just like a safe haven for people. Um, mm -hmm. But it was kind of boring. So I started adding uh, a lot of hostiles here. As you can see, there's a lot of hostiles from the island and from uh, the scorched earth. They're mixed together. That's something I do in this map, and I do it on Skies Island as uh, I mean uh, Skies on Nazca as well. I uh, I mix the enemies that are in the map. Normally, I think when I was playing the island, and I haven't played for some time, but when I was playing the island back in the day, it was kind of like a ring how things worked. Like you get to the center, and that's where all the T Rexes were, and most of the baddies were. But on the outer perimeter, the beaches, it was kind of mellow. It was pretty easy. Um, for my maps, I didn't want that. I wanted to make it more difficult. If we go this way, if you follow me, uh -huh. um, I wanted to blend everything in. So when you landed on the island in the beginning, there could be a T-Rex right next to you. So you just got to like start thinking and start going. Um, some people like that. Some people hate it. I personally love it. I think it makes the gameplay better. Uh, all, all in here was updated about months ago. So all this stuff here is fairly new. Um, the beachhead over here with the Titanosaurus on it. <laughs> <laughs> that's a that's a first. I've never seen that. Uh, um, that's a, what's this feature? <laughs> yeah, yeah, he's uh, all this area here is pretty new. I updated all of it. I added more uh, scorched earth dinosaurs all in here. So this is a neat little area to build as well. You could actually put your house underneath that giant rock, which is great. So, um, so, so compared to the compared to the island center, like how many biomes do you have here? Like, do you have a snow biome? Do you have like a lava? desert kind of things like that so we have we have desert we have uh we have desert jungle redwoods and i think two or two others but we do not have snow there will not be snow on this island thieves island is a arctic uh, not an arctic i'm sorry a uh like it, it's it's an island that's closer to the equator so it's going to be hotter if anything if you're, if you're going to put it that way like it's more of a, a Typical island map, you know. So how do you There's deal with the? How do you deal with the spawns? Like, where would mammoths spawn in? Like entire wolves and so things like that. Mammoths will be over in. I'll fly over there. So right now, the area we're passing is this is. Uh, this is what I call Sea Island because it's shaped like the letter C. You're really high up. Um, I couldn't really think of an original tree, but over here, there's a lot of oil. Um, there's a lot of brontosauruses. It's mostly veget you know, vegetation. There's a lot, some raptors, but it's mostly like uh, dinosaurs that eat vegetables. They don't, they're passive. The mammoths will be more over here on this side where the swamp area is as well. There's a mountain up here. And in this mountain is a bunch of gigantosauruses and T-Rexes and raptors. 
um, and they would be here, the man. If you do find them, you're going to find them in this area and behind behind this, further down, where it gets a lot colder. So you'll get the cold weather, but you're not going to get the snow. Skies of Nazca has snow, uh, plenty of it. But over here, this is more... Um, this is more of like a, just high mountain areas. High mountain, cold okay. because it's high mountain area. So, so what about like spawns? Like, like if I if I want Demeterix, would that be spread out all, all across the map, or like there be specific areas to find certain things, for example? Yeah, in in this map, only really the sea animals are going to be the ones that are uh, in certain spots. They're not going to. Everything else is going to be pretty much where I felt it would make sense to put it on this island. So for me, the T-Rexes and the Gigantosauruses, they made sense to be over here. If we're going to fly through, we got to go quick because we're going to death. But um, they're in here. And there's very limited of them. There's not many. There used to be hundreds of them. There. But I, I had to do a spawn refresh. So now you'll see, like, maybe on a good day, you'll see maybe two or three floating around. So there's some mammoths here now. Come down, you can see the mammoths. But there's not many T-Rexes or anything else. Sometimes they spawn out. You'll get a couple of Gigantosauruses floating around. There's one. Oh, I see. That's yeah. Cool. Yeah. What, what, about, to... what about resource-wise? Uh, like, how how do you have, like, the resources spread out or balance around? Like, would there be certain areas where I can find crystal and things like that? Oh, it will be, will be a lot. How easy is it to, to find resources? So crystal is predominantly on the mountaintops and in the caves. Um, oil is, I try to make oil a pretty easy resource to get in the water. Uh, a lot of it's in outer skirts of the ocean. Over here in the water, you'll find some oil, you'll find some uh, crystal down there. Uh, in this cave here, you'll find a bunch of crystal, uh, but no oil. Pond Island, I believe doesn't have oh it has crystal but that's the only resource it really has over here on pond island the thing with pond island though <clears throat> it's a great place to build and a great place to hang out um but a lot of the times you're going to get wyverns over and they're going to be nasty uh i'm sorry i took off without you man i apologize no no i'm, I'm good i'm keeping up i'm just like mostly admiring the view here this is really so, really good locations you have here now i was going to ask you um what regarding with the scorched dinos, like, do you have most of them spawning on the desert, or do you have them sp spread around as well? And, like, They're all spread resources? around. Yeah, so so a lot of the time you'll find a lot of scorched earth dinosaurs on this part of the map right here, on Pond Island, um, because of the the oasis like atmosphere. Also got some more down here on Rock Isle. So Rock Isle is, it's part of Thieves Island, but it's just a separated part. Um, as you can see, many raptors, many lions, tigers, oh my, lots of uh, lots of birds, lots of T-Rexes. Okay. Rock Island is more, very little vegetation, this is more lots like of a, dinosaurs. It's almost like a carnivore island kind of thing. Like the sort carnivore. of, yeah. Monster Island is definitely the carnivore island where you pick me up. Uh -huh. On that side of that cave, I don't even go over there because it's just too hostile. Um, but over here... It's sort of hostile, but it's kind of mellow. Like, there's not a lot of them on the ground. They're more in the air. There's, you know, there's Argents are everywhere. I mean, there's a dragon. Shit. <laughs> oh, Where are you? I don't want to die. I think we'll be okay. Two of them. There's, there's two of them. But about... over here, yeah, this is more of like the scorched earth kind of atmosphere. You see, like, there's a lot of, there's, there's, there's green, but there's a lot of desert. Um, and there's a lot of burnt desert. Wyverns are looking for everywhere. Yeah, I think I lost you. Um... Yeah, you did, because I'm in the middle of three wyverns right now, and I'm trying to figure out how to... Four. One, two, three, four. I got to get out of here. <laughs> I'm heading towards the mainland again. I'm going... If you can see me, I'm, I'm going straight. It's getting nutty over here. I'm trying to get around these guys. I think I see you. Yeah, I see you. Oh, there we go. Yeah, the, this, there's four of them. 
What about the what about the flooding? How many flood? I see we, you have uh, a lot of flooding islands. How many flooding islands do you have? Uh, on the there map? are four on Thieves Island. There are going to be twelve on Skies of Nine. And are players able to build on the on the flooding islands? So right now you can build on three of the four, and one of the three, the one that's all the way in the back, uh, if you're behind me, on the main island, you can see it in the distance in the clouds. That one right there. Um, is having an issue where you fly under it, you're dying. I don't know why, because it wasn't happening to the other two islands. And they have the same settings, but I'm, I'm investigating it. Over here, this is a, a cavern where, if you're, on, if you're, if you're lucky, you're going to see where uh, dragons have their nest. It'll be in here. Um, there are two spots in here where the dragons could build their nest. You just got to, I guess, come check it out eventually, but. There are many dragons on this island, so I'd imagine that they're going to use this spot because that's they're in this they're in this area here. Oh wow! So, so here I will be able to find, for example, some wyvern eggs. Yeah. Like okay. Yeah, uh, especially up here. They're going to be. If, I mean, we just popped up this server, so I don't know if they're going to be here just yet. But this is where right. they would be. Right. Okay. Interesting. And then above it, the floating island. Once in a while, there's a there's a wyvern up there as well. Uh, we can take a look at that one if you'd like. Yeah, sure. So this is the first floating island that I built for Thieves Island. Um, I wanted it to be a craggy, rocky, pretty much dead island, and it is. It's a dead island. There's, there's a bit of actual vegetation in the middle, but it's very, very little. There are no dinosaurs living on this island. But once in a while, you will get a wyvern up here. Uh, how he gets up here, I don't know, but they get up here some. This is more. This is more of like a safe haven for. I, I looked at this island as a great island for like a deathmatch kind of thing. Like if you're fighting other people, this is a great place to have a base. You know, uh, channels that you have here. I mean, you could bring your dinosaurs up here if you wanted to, I guess. But I didn't put any spawns up here. It, first of all, it's too high. They won't even spawn up here. Right. Um, the game won't let you. I tried in the editor before I realized that. I mean, I was just forget it. But this is the highest floating island in the map for some reason they just spawn i guess because of the height so i was gonna ask you how long have you been working on thieves island so thieves went live may of last year and i completed building the island in december and now it's just a matter of like tweaking it and fixing issues and fixing bugs um just kind of like taking care of everything like take you to another new area that was just built okay i'll lose you there you are yeah all right so the island below it is a, a good island also to hang out on and, and build there are dinosaurs but they're pretty mellow uh oh, that's rock island my bad i was looking on the other side where the where the obelisk is that island over there is a great place to build uh and hang out because there aren't really many dinosaurs very few actually now do you have any since the scorcher came out did they add like weather weather system like do you have any specific kind of weather or are you planning uh, to add some sort of weather system not yet but i'm planning to add um the sandstorm Seems this map skies and Nazca will have everything um this one here so this little area i just built here uh, you can come here to get beavers where they are. They're hanging out here. They're in a couple of spots, but this one's the easiest to get what you need. Because they spawn plenty over here. Uh, after a while, the, you have to come over here and just clean them out because it's... Uh, below it is a cave, and that actually leads into giant cave underneath the center of the island. Um, massive. Really? Yeah, it's a massive cave, the one that's underneath the island. Um, this area under here, if you let it go unsupervised, can get pretty dangerous. <laughs> there's oil in there and there's crystal in there. Uh, and there's a lot of baddies in there. How, how will we be able to get to, how do you get to the uh, um, cave system that you have? Uh, on Follow the my lead and I'll, uh, I'll take you in. I think we can get, think we can get all the way in with the birds. Yeah, we can. Ooh, I just shot. 
So this is this is the under the under passage, which you can get from outside right over there, as you can see. So this is the bottom of of the cave. There is a here. Can you see me? Yes. So there's a piece under here. If you just follow me under here. Bats, a lot of bats. So the, you're seeing it's very bright, right? You're noticing that. It's because the map, uh, this portion's so wide open that even with all the blocking volumes, it's still bringing in a light source so you can see ahead. Um, it's pretty weird. Uh, it gets darker as you get in, obviously. Are you behind me? Yeah, yeah. I'm right behind you. Uh, there's another part here, I believe. Go in here. Oh. Ooh, I got to fix Ooh. the lighting here. The lighting bug. There's more here, though. Leads further up. I just don't know how we're going to get in. It leads further up, and it leads to the upstairs portion of this cave. I take you to, I think... I'm stuck. Do you have to like power roll? Maybe. There you go. I will feel claustrophobic if I tried to navigate this cave. Yeah, that one's it's a tight it's very tight in there. Let me let me take it to the upper part. Going out the interesting. Are you still behind me? Um, nice to see you. Out, there's a lot of baddies in here. So somebody had suggested to me this this other type of blocking volume, which I'm going to try in here, and it might suppress all the light and just completely. Um, for now, go out through the way, the other way in. Nice. So how many cave systems are, how many caves in total do you have uh, on Thieves Island? Uh, there's like six. Thieves Island right now. Yes, but there's more coming. Um, a lot of I just put a new underwater cave in. That's uh, it's also it's tight, but it's then it opens up to this huge area. So here's here's the other portion of the cave that we were just in. This is the upstairs, and then there's a there's a doorway right here. Are you behind me? Yes, I see you. Right here to take us in. Wow. And it'll take us further down, and then there's more passages, uh, and this will go further down as well. But then it gets tight; we can't go through with the birds. Okay. Now, do you have any? Do you have any like a uh, deep sea loot crates in in any of this case, or are they just like on uh, the sea? Uh, the loot crates are in the underwater caves right now. More loot crates. I just started adding those and explorer notes to this map and skies of Nazca. As I'm going around and sweeping and doing like texture fixes, fixes and stuff, I'm, I'm adding loot crates as well. So, do you have all the explorer notes available currently, or you're missing? Uh, I don't. Because I've been working on both maps simultaneously. I forgot which one has all of them in it. <laughs> I, I think this one has them. I, I'm pretty sure it does, but I'm not 100 percent sure. Uh, this is the desert area. This is uh, Racina Beach. So there's Racina Beach, and then on the other side, where I'll take you in a moment, where the new stuff I just put is, um, that's um, Cottrell Cove. So this is Racina Beach. It goes all the way down. There are death worms on this beach, uh, mostly towards the end. And if you look in the distance, in the direction I'm facing to the right, you'll see uh, Cunningham's Cove, which we can go there first if you want. Yeah, sure. Let's go check that one. That one. All right. So we'll blast on over there. So yeah, this is this is Racina Beach. This is all fairly new. I, I put all this in like around December when I was finishing up building in the map. This used to be just flat beach area. And then I raised it up and added all these, the, the rocky area and stuff. I think it's a lot cooler. Um, all the rocky area, I forgot to mention, everything that you see here mm -hmm. that is pretty much flat, that's rock, you could build on. So, oh, wow. so the, the tall area up here, you could build on. That the T the T rock up here. I'm um, just flying over to it really quickly so you can see it. This area right here, you could build on this. 
So if you can figure out where to build on this, you can build a base. So you can actually build on these rocks. That's, that's pretty yeah, cool. you can build on all the flat surfaces of the ba of the rocks on the. T I figured it would be cool to to have bases up there. Now we're heading towards Cunningham uh, Cunningham's cave. So Cunningham's cave is massive, and two sections of it. Um, this also suffers from that lighting thing where the light kind of bleeds in. And again, I'm I'm using. Right now, I'm using a bounding volume box to, to block it all, um, but I might use I might use another source to, to actually continue blocking the light. Um, right. The idea is to make it as dark and foreboding as possible. <laughs> so you want pretty much place to just go in there with a torch or... Yeah, I want you to... I mean, I want you to be a little terrified when you're in there. It's also right. gigantic, so I want it to have that expanse. You know, if you've been in large really large caves they're not completely pitch black you can see pretty well i mean at least the caves i've been to in california that are really big i mean i could see the ceiling pretty well that's it's sort of dark but it's like it's like when you shut all the, the lights off in your room and you close the, the blinds you know? right. it's not pitch black but you can make things out um and some of them are just bright as day which is really weird um this is this is cunningham's code Cove has a lot of scorched earth dinosaurs on it, has a lot of salt resources, has a lot of cactus resources over here. Um, if you want to pick up a lot of the scorched earth stuff, this is where you want to go. Okay. So the cave, like I said, it's it's massive. Um, oh, wow. That's, that's, that's huge. It, it, so you can go in from the bottom right, or you can go in from the upper left where you're going now. <clears throat> so let's go in on the upper left. And, yeah, I mean, it's just... As you can see, there's a lot of crystal here. Now, will I will I be able to collect this giant crystal? <laughs> yeah, there's there's a we can't collect the giant one, but you can collect everything around it. A lot of crystal, a lot of metals, a lot of mineral resources are in both of these caves. Um, they're also uh, there, there's a there's not a ton, but there's a good amount of bad guys that keep you entertained. But I didn't go nuts, and I didn't want to go nuts in this cave. Only because it looked it looked really really stupid. There were so many floating around, and it just looked so bad. But the way it is now, it feels pretty good. There's enough that'll keep you, they'll keep you busy. Uh, we can go out through the top here. Hmm. Actually, you know what? Let's now, not go out is, through. Is the there top. is there different in these uh, green crystals, or like it's just different texture for them? Uh, some are obsidian crystals. Some are regular crystals. Oh, okay. So some of these green crystals would actually give you obsidian. Yeah. Okay. Where did you go? Are you still in this cave? I'm here by the yellow yellow crystal. Massive yellow crystal. Massive yellow. The big one in the middle. Yeah. I'm, I'm above you. I'm actually above you. All right. So let's, uh, I think, this is what I've been working on. Losing. I see you. I see you. I'm forgetting where things are. Yeah, let's get out here. Snake in the sky. I'm out here. Down. So this is the other part of the cave. As you can see to my right, a waterfall, a giant waterfall. You can come in through the waterfall, kind of cool. Yeah, and really then you cool. got this, you got this bigger part of the cave down here. So here I try to do a couple of things different. I'm still experimenting. It's a lot darker, as you can see. It's pitch friggin' black. But uh, then it, it kind of lights up. It opens up a little bit more. Again, mixing the animals that are in here. There are cave animals. There are regular land animals. There are tons of crystal. <clears throat> I wanted fog on the bottom to give a kind of an eerie feel to it. Mm -hmm. so you can move up this ramp over here on the side. You can actually climb up here, uh, get all the crystal you want. Follow the, the light source and then take it to the left. And um, from here. Oh, I think I lost you again. No, oh. I'm right here. Here I am. Oh, there you go. Yeah, I'm just following over here. So, again, the cave is darker, um, but in further in the areas, it's brighter. Uh, this cave, not a lot of baddies on the upper part. So that's a, a hint for anybody who wants to like maybe build in here. Um, now, this is where you do, now do these caves take uh, the six time damage multiplier? Uh, does it? 
I'm not sure. I'm, I'm, I'm asking you, but like, uh, I don't know. I don't know, man. I could, I, honestly, I don't remember. To be honest, I don't think I put anything special on it now. Okay. I think it's just a regular, just a regular cave I just built to let you come in and hang out. I really didn't go for anything crazy. I, I put physics in one of them, so it's a lot harder to walk, and it just wasn't fun, you know? Right. Uh, even with the damage multiplier, it just kind of made it harder, and it made it just made it – it didn't make it fun to play, and that's kind of the key thing, man. Like, I want people to enjoy themselves. As you can see, an abundance of crystal here. Abundance. That's a ridiculous amount of crystal. Yeah. yeah I, I want. I mean, I went over the top. It's done purposely. I might thin it out if players want me to. So far, nobody's complained. So I, I just plan on leaving it. Are you behind me? I can still see you. If we can move further down, um, go out through the top over here. Me? So I like the fact that you made multiple entrances to to allow these caves, like it just come in from different directions. Yeah, I like that. I like that. Well, because again, the caves I went and checked out in California, they had multiple. So if you come out and you go on top, so on top of the cove, I mean, on the cave, is this giant world. And I don't think a lot of people that are playing the map realize there's a whole ecosystem. There's, it's a mix of scorched earth and the island. Um, I wanted to keep it. I wanted to keep it kind of fresh. You know, uh, I'm trying to find my way, but the fog isn't helping. I think if we keep going straight over here, follow me over here. I think fog. It's just throwing off. On the clear day, you could see everything. Obviously, on. Stupid statement. Obviously, you can see everything on a clip, but <laughs> find I'm trying to find a castle area that it's on the top of this. Now, yeah. what, what's the percentage of Thief Island? Like, uh, is it a hundred percent done, or you still you think it's done, but you're just tweaking it, or are you plan on adding like more parts to the map? So the the island is one hundred percent built as far as the island. Like, I'm not adding any more. Island parts to it. Cunningham's cave, the part we're on now, is the last thing I built. Um, there will be no more. But I will be making more caves. I will be updating it. I will be fixing it, tweaking it. Um, I will be adding any update that, that comes from the developer, I will add. So if there's more dinosaurs, they'll be updated. Like this, as long as people play this map, and even if they're not playing it, just because I love the map so much, I, I'll keep updating it. Um, but I'm not going to continue building only because I'm, I'm running out of ideas and I don't, I don't want to, there's the, there we go. I'm sorry. Here it is. So as you can see all the stairways that lead up to this, this castle up here. Um, I, I didn't want to like just throw things in it to throw things in it. I think the Island, the way it is, is cool now, but now I got to add the little details, the sunken pirate ships and the, the cave areas that the pirates built that they have all their booty in because there's a story behind that, the Island. And I want to, I want to really play that out and I want people to, uh, get into the lore so they get into playing on the island it's really important to me they they really dig it and have a good time that's pretty cool now i was gonna ask you do you have any are you planning to add a boss arena or is there like a boss arena to now that, they no add, boss. now that they add a tech tier uh what are your plans to for them to acquire tech tier like will players be able to acquire tech tier on this map um i think possibly i'll make a boss arena i don't know uh, as far as expansion for things like that, to be honest, I've never really, really thought about it. Kind of, it kind of was building, you know? It was more of like a, I want to build, see what I can build kind of thing. So all these, all these, sh the, the obsidian underneath is because the floor gave away. It's supposed to create like a, this whole area is just like ruins, you know what I mean? Yeah. Um, and eventually I want to make it so you can build in here, but then... I was talking to somebody about it, a kid that's playing on the map, and he doesn't think I should make it that you could build in here. Only because it wouldn't be fair because of these walls. Yeah, the walls would make it a little bit strong to defend. Yeah, I suppose that makes yeah. sense. Yeah, it, it, it was kind of it'd be an unfair. You, you, know, you, could, you could always turn this into a boss arena, if anything, you know. Yeah, yeah, that could that could actually be where this goes. So when we uh, leave this wonderful little area, back over. So this is the front of the top of the map. 
a you would if you came in through the waterfall you would be coming from over here there's your lake there's no animals in the lake um think there's a explorer note a loot crate in there and as you can see it just takes us out over the cove where you can see cunningham's cave behind us a large waterfall that you can go into the other two entrance side over there and then from there you can actually go straight across to uh hook island which is a sister island to the floating island in the center of the map um it's a sister because it looks almost identical it's the only thing that's different is the hook i'm above you i see you fog and players are able to build on all of the floor now, except one, you said, right? Yeah, except for one. The only one that they can't build on right now is um, the first one we went on. I haven't hit that one yet. But this one you can build on, and there are actually dinos on here. As you can see, there's an Argentasius. There, there's a couple of Argies. There's a couple of uh, moths. I don't know how they call them. Um, That's a really nice uh, There's also sulfur up here. These are sulfur rocks. Scorched Earth resource on this island. Okay, so players can mine some sulfur. Is it like metal on most of the floating islands, or? Uh, some of them. Some of them. And okay. and like like Thieves Island, some of them will have one resource and not another. You're gonna have to bop around if you want. Right. Is it like a central area where people can mostly find metal and things like that? Uh. Yeah, or... actually, pretty pretty much that. The, I'll show you where. Let's let's take a look down there. Let's get off this island before I die again. I'm below you. Okay, there you go. Heading towards the main. So Monster Island is to our right. See that peak right there? Mm -hmm. and that peak all the way to the to that other part of the mountain. All this here, I'll fly over it. This is all Monster Island. And in the distance on the right, see those rocks in the water? Yeah. Oh, that's pretty those cool. rocks in the water, eventually there's going to be a giant underwater cave in there. I haven't started building it. There's nothing there now. The the, the rocks are form, formula. They're going to be the foundation. There. I don't know why I'm having so But as you can see, lots of baddies all fighting each other. Terrible. They're terrible. <laughs> they all need attitude adjustments. There's mostly T-Rexes uh, as far as the largest the largest dinosaurs that are on here. And there's the cave entrance. So wow. going through there brings you out here. Found me when I started this. Right there. Okay, so players, as soon as they spawn, they can go inside this cave. Yep, and that'll take them to Monster Island. But, I mean, there are there's things in that cave as well. So unless you're prepared... Right. So it's not would, it's not a place that you want to go in the really early game as soon as you spawn. No. No. You you want to hang out over here. Hang out here if you can early in the game. This this patch of land right here, uh, I was on when I first put the map up. It's a pretty safe area. You could build a pretty good area there. So up over here leads us into the redwoods. I'm getting a little bit of lag. If you're behind me, and then yeah, I'll, I I'll continue. You. Cool. So yeah, here's the Redwoods area over here. Um, the one thing about the Redwoods that nobody likes that I have to change is that when I first, because I, I never played the game with the Redwoods in it. Mm -hmm. so I, when I first started building, I didn't know uh, the whole deal with the Redwoods. Apparently, um, you're not supposed to be able to chop them down. And I let it, I let it be a resource. So, so, so right now in the red, I can chop down the giant trees. Yeah. Really? Get lots of wood. <laughs> lots of wood. That is I, actually, I, it's actually kind of interesting. But then you won't be able to build a tree house, you know. If you build on it, the house will be destroyed if I chop down your tree. That, that is hilarious. <laughs> and that's why people are pissed. They're like, I can't build, I can't build on this. It's, I, you know, I didn't know. If I knew, I would have never done it, honestly. But you know, now I can't. The only way I can change it. 
So I thought I could change the settings in the editor and it would update it. So I did that and it didn't fix it. Huh. So the only thing that actually changes it is if I delete all the trees and I build them all. And I don't want to do that because people are building, you know, they're using the map and I don't think it's right. fair. I don't know what to do. So if, if people uh, cry out. I like, mean, you could always, like, are you able to like place new trees and just make those trees beautiful and change their color or something like that? True. Do that. Because yeah, I, I like the idea of being able to chop the... I kind of like that they've been able to chop down those trees, you know? I thought it was cool, you know? Because, I mean, that's what you'd be able to do in the real world, so why not have it apply here? I mean, you know, then again, you wouldn't be flying real dinosaurs in the real world, but come on. Yeah. <laughs> Most of the... Uh, your minerals are going to be here <clears throat> on this mountain. Um, all your metals, your obsidian, crystal... I mean, as you can see, though, the, the island, the mountain's pretty heavily... It's pretty heavily populated with a lot of bad guys that will really yeah. do you in. <clears throat> There's another cave in here, but it's not even a cave. It's a tunnel. It just takes you through one side or the other. But the floating island above it, are you? is that you right there? Yeah, it is. Yeah, this is me. Yeah, above it, this is my favorite spot uh, on this map um, because it's, it's the great place to build. Uh, this is usually where I always build when I play the map online. <clears throat> this whole wide area over here is exactly – it's spaced out like it is, the way it is. So you can totally build on it and that's why i built it like this. you got the beautiful waterfall in the background you got another waterfall on the side you got plenty of vegetables here you got some rock you got wood you can build a nice little area here sure that's really nice do do you have any like fish spawn in this uh uh not yet i was thinking about doing that so you have like a total place for resources so you can just hang out and you know live a nice quiet life build a cottage Raise some kids. <laughs> this is the floating <laughs> island to do that, man. Oh, that's really it's nice. Chill, you know? And then you got the beautiful waterfall going here that just falls down into onto the island below. So right below us, this is the jungle, pretty much the jungle portion of the island, um, all the way to the redwoods. It goes all the way down to the beach, which is, as you can see, um, down here, it's mostly raptors a lot of brontos uh a lot of resources mixed vary of everything but there's also a cave down here uh where is it it's right over here yep oh, that's really well hidden yeah do you want to go inside this cave do you have torches is it are we gonna die if we go all right all right, all right so, so we're gonna check out the cave yeah this is uh so this is one cave entrance uh, out of five that take us to the main cave underneath the volcano, which is the cave on the island. Back. So how long have you been working on uh, on this case, or like how how long did it take? How usually does it take? How long does it usually take you to work on one of these caves? Just the tunnel system for the caves took a week. Oh, wow, this is really tight cave. Uh, yeah. It actually reminds me of an actual cave. You know? Hold on, don't go too far, dude. Hold on a second. Shit, how do I... Uh... Oh, do we... Yeah, yeah, hold on, because there's stuff ahead. I know there's stuff ahead, and we just passed the tunnel that leads to the main cave, which we'll definitely go to. But I want to show you this. So this is all these resources you can, you can harvest. Uh, you got oysters in here. You got obsidian in here. You got crystal in here. So this is definitely one of those areas early on yeah. where you yeah. want to come in. Oh, you want to come in here? You want to get some shit going? That more? Yeah, I think I got them all. I hear something. That should be up ahead, maybe. I mean, that's my neighbor's dog. <laughs> no, no, I heard a, I heard a hiss. It's your neighbor's oh. dog hisses. No. So I <laughs> this, so you're right now. We're heading towards more of the, the. Uh, oh, I see. You have like uh, torches in here. That's pretty cool, yeah. actually. Yeah, I wanted it to be lit up for people. That's Heck. really nice. Oh, is this explorer node? Oh, cool. Oh, there you go. That's really nice. 
Cool. Um, this would lead us into the main cave. So this, if we go up, this will take us to another, that lighting crap. If we go up, that'll take us to another cave entrance uh, outside on the main island. If we go down, this will also take us to another cave entrance on the island. This actually takes us to the main beach. Take this straight down. If you want, we can go down to the edge and then we'll turn around and come back. Yeah, take sure, it to the see. main, the actual main, uh, the main cave itself. Forever. I really like the detail in this cave. It's just, it actually feels like I'm actually exploring an actual cave. Yeah. Cool. I'm, I'm glad you like it, man. I, I really wanted people to just get immersed in what we, I was doing. And I wanted to keep it kind of tight. So it would always be scary as you're going through it. You know, like you wouldn't know what lies ahead. As you can see, there aren't a lot of baddies in these tunnels here. Um, the reason being is because just like in the lore, like these tunnels were built to get away from the baddies. Uh, eventually, bad guys got into it. Dinosaurs got into it and they killed everybody that was building. So the tunneling stopped. But it got so far as to get to the main cave. So as you see, like we're, I mean, we're going for a while here, man. These tunnels, um, they span one side of the cave to the other. So you, so, so it's pretty much like, uh, it's pretty much like its own biome. Like I can actually, oh, you disappeared on my screen. Ooh, I just, yeah, because I just oh. I found an error in my my map. I got to. Oh, here's a, here's a come back. I died. <laughs> I got you. Side again. You so, uh, warp me. I'm going to spawn in. Warp me where you are in the cave. And then, uh, oh, I'm dead again. Carnosaur. <laughs> Let me know when you have respawn. Sure. When, I, when they stop killing me. So, I mean, this is what I mean. Like, now I'm in the port of the part of building the map where I got to just fix things, right? And I'm right. finding all these weird little things that work and test. I'm back in the map now. They work and test, but they don't work live sometimes. And I, I don't understand why. That one right thing I just right found is, is that issue. Like, I'm right. in... You stuff you stuff right here. You oh, okay, there you are. I, so this main cave, this main cave brings us into where, where we... where we just were. Rest back into... Uh, we're probably going to get pushed out again on top of the earth, but I, mean, I don't know if there's a way we can get in there without that happening. So this this is supposed to bring you in the main beach. That's weird. You can get in just fine, but you can't get out. I gotta look at that. That's a bug. So here we are again. Apologies about that. No, it's not good. Go. We'll go back up to where we were. So pretty much the way you're trying to make this is that the caves in themselves is like a, its own bio. That one cave would lead you from one side of the map to the other. So people can yeah. pretty much, if they want to travel safely, they can just use the cave system. Yeah, that's exactly why I built the cave system. Safe travels for players to get from one cave to the other. I mean, one end of the island to the other end of the island. Um, because this was supposed to be in the lore. It's, it's pirates tunneling system that help them move their goods without being killed by the dinosaurs. Because when they first came, they didn't see the dinosaurs. And as they were here, they realized, you know, holy crap, there's all these dinosaurs want to survive. They had to build the system to survive. Um, eventually, there'll be, there'll be ruins in the caves. Um, the, the further caves that I'm building, there's going to be some caves that are flooded out. And those caves are going to be the caves that pirates lived in. Mm -hmm. uh, the flood will be because of some disaster that happened, so it flooded out and they all died. And that'll be the story. Of that. So let's go back this way. Probably see some spawn guys because I just died. There's uh, no story down again. I think we went through here. Uh, if we keep going straight, yeah, we get we're gonna pass this one point where we in tunnel there and that and that uh, yep
No, it's a dung beetle here. Nice. And he's dead. And angry. The dung beetle got real aggro. Uh. Now all these crystals are. So all Grab those on. all those tiny little crystals are harvestable. Yep. Nice. I wanted people to get all the resources they needed over here because, I mean, it's, I mean, I, over there is pretty brutal, right? Right. So are you, are you planning like certain keys will have like metal as people go walking through or will you be, will you making it, will people be able to build inside this uh, tiny little caves? Like I, I can see situations in which players like place a foundation and a wall and people can't go through the cave system anymore i didn't want that so you are not allowed to build in any of the so you you can't build anything on this uh on this caves. no oh, nice. no i thought that would be unfair if people were able to... so usually have what, what kind of um dinos or things will people be able to encounter down here yeah down Besides... here is down here is everything down here is everything wrong golems yeah. They'll get rock golems. There may be carnos down here. There may be there may be scorpions. There may be. Uh, it's a, it's a it's a mix. I mixed it up in the cave because it's so massive. A lot of the times you're just gonna find the rock golems and the and like the mantises. Oh wow, yeah, these caves are are massive. Like we've been running here for a while. Now, my question is, will players be able to fly dinos into them? Certain areas, not all areas. Not Other, all areas? No, oh, nice. No, yeah. not all areas. Here's, this is the big, this is the biggest cave in the game. There's actually two giant sections of this, this area and then all the way on the other side to the right. We are not gonna, I don't know how much we'll make it, man. Usually there's a lot of stuff. Yeah, it's pretty cool. I'm not sure where in the map we are right now. We are complete. We are directly under the volcano in the center of the. Huh. Oh, we made it all the way back there. Well, that's actually. Yeah, really so cool. far we haven't run into any baddies, and I'm kind of surprised. I think we were here earlier. We were flying here. Oh wow! I there, I, I did no no. We walked that far. Right. Oh, and I see uh. I see a um, deep sea loot grid there too. That's yeah. That's pretty cool. Oh shit, and a golem. And a dire wolf. And I got oh, killed by the golem. Oh boy. I sadly, I can't, I gotta go. I can't play anymore, but I wanna I continue playing and talking to you about the map because there's, no, there's a lot more really, to see. This is really cool. We should definitely do a, another part of where you should be more in the caves. But yeah, no. Thank you for uh, thank you for joining me. And thank you for the interview. I appreciate it. Yeah, I had a lot of fun, man. I would definitely love to continue playing with you. All right. Well, thank thank you for joining me, and uh, I'll I guess I'll talk to you next time. All right. Cool. All right, all right. Maybe after I'm done with this, I can I can sync back up with you on an interview. Sure. Sure. Of course.